Just going to give you guys a little bit of, a, of an idea of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis as far as actually getting warmed up, ready to go for the workout. Um, so what I'll do is I'll run you guys through with me as far as my soft tissue work and then some of the, uh, the other warm-up mobility exercises, range of motion and stuff like that that I do on a daily basis prior to pretty much any workout, no matter what it's going to be, whether it's going to be a front squat, a back squat, um, overhead presses, bench presses. I always try and at least warm up and move around the whole body and get everything prepped. So almost always the first thing that I'll end up doing is I'll grab a lacrosse ball and then all I do is just try and roll out the bottom of the feet a few times get those nice and loosened up especially if I've been standing and I'm not working out until like the end of the day this is usually the first thing that I'll try and do just to loosen up that tissue in the bottom of the foot help loosen up the Achilles a little bit I'll come over to the mirror or the wall or whatever you have and then I'll just roll out right I'm trying to get that lacrosse ball way up in there uh, pretty much anywhere except for on top with the spine roll out the scaps right the shoulder blades and then from there I'll move it down to the hips depending upon how I'm feeling um, it kind of determines how much time I'm really trying to stay there get up it nice and tight up into the traps mm, right always a good one and then from there I'll drop down go to the hips and then again you guys can see I'm just trying to roll out the top of the hip a little bit <sighs> always feels great okay always 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 and then just depending upon how tight my back is, um, I might give it as few light rolls. I don't really try and dig super down deep into the, the tissue of the lower back here, right? I don't really try and dig that far down in there. I'll work up into the lats. And then last but not least, getting up into the chest. And from here, you guys can do a couple sweeps, right? Move that arm around. I'm pretty tight today. so. I might not do as much bench press, but I might actually go <coughs> and hit some intervals on the rower. So all I'm doing is just to get moving around, get some blood flow going, try and keep my stroke rates, my right, strokes per minute, somewhere around 25 to 30 as I'm warming up. I get super, super crazy with them. Just really trying to grease the groove here. We can warm up. That way, once I get into my actual interval sprints, it just becomes second nature once again. And I'm not having to think about it anymore. Right? My back, my shoulders, my hips, everything else is ready to go. And I don't have to do a whole lot of thinking for those intervals. So, my goal right now is just to do Tabata, 20 on, 10 off, work through that. Let me go to six to eight reps, do the actual full cycle of the Tabata. And then try and keep the stroke rate the same, but also on top of that, try and hit. I think I'm going to go for calories actually today. I'm just going to try and hit the same number of calories. Even though meters is more measurable, I think I'm going to go for calories today. 10 second break. All right, I could set my pace boat. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change my units because I'm going to go for calories. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for average watts because it's a little bit more specific than calories or meters. And I can tell whether or not I'm putting out a certain amount of uh, power output. So So I just got done with the Tabata row. I tried to stay at the same watts, but I don't think it actually happened. So to be able to get back to my memory, oh man, I apologize. I'm probably breathing like right into the mic, but whatever, that's what happens. Fuck it, we're doing it live. So there's the total meters right there. So 788, total time, four minutes. Okay, eight by 20, 10 meters, 98, 97, 98, 101, where the fuck that came from? Right, 101, 97, 98, 98, 99. 
Not too bad. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look over at the watt. 334, so I guess the average. So 329, 319, 329, 361. That was on the faster row, right? The more meters. 319, 329, 329, 340. Now, if I would have just stuck to meters, then that's whenever I would be able to get to see the meters there at 98, 97, 98. 101, 97, 98, 98. So even those are really close, when you start to get over into the watts now, even though it's one meter off, right? So the 98, 97, but then on the watt scale, so the power per pulls, 329, 319, right? So one meter, that's 10 watts or wattages, I guess, of power, 